bed for the first time. Anyways, after cleaning up yet another mess, I try to lay down on the couch. I thought that maybe if I got a little nap, I'd be able to make this night go by faster. Tyrant started to calm down, so it was a perfect time. I started to doze off when I heard the sound of kids arguing. I sit back up and see Tyrant pulling toys away from my stepbrother while saying, It's mine! I intervened and told them to stop fighting. I pulled out some building blocks that I originally put away and suggested they play with these together. And they actually agreed. Thank God. An uneventful hour passes, and I'm starting to wonder when the food will be done. I stand up to go ask the adults, but then I remember that they don't like me out there. So I peeked out the door. The adults were all at the table, talking about various stuff and laughing over terrible jokes. I saw that no food was out on the table, so I assumed that it wasn't done cooking yet. Then I hear a loud smack sound. I turn around and see one of the kids crying, holding their cheek, while Tyrant giggles in the corner. I asked him what happened, and he told me that Tyrant had hit him. I went over to Tyrant, who was still giggling like a pest, and tried to tell him what he did was wrong, but he interrupted me by saying, You're not my dad, and then went back to playing with toys. I was just standing there, wondering what to do, seeing this little brat act like this, and the other kid still holding his cheek and sniffling. I knew that going out of the room to tell his parents would make them mad, but I gave in to it and went out anyways. Before they could tell me to go back to the room, I interrupted them and said, no, you have to listen. Tyrant is hitting the others and making them cry. The entire table went silent. At that point, I thought I finally got their attention, but Tyrant's mom then said, Why don't you do something about it then? I told her that I in fact did, but he didn't listen to me. The adults were all mumbling to each other, and Tyrant's dad then said, You are old enough to know how to deal with this. Stop being a tattletale. I looked around to the other adults with a, Is he serious? face, but they all looked at me disappointedly. Even my dad.